guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm here, I'm back, okay? Um, so today's video is basically going to be my take on a clean girl makeup look or whatever. I feel like a clean girl makeup is just like not doing too much, very minimalistic and i don't know i just like the way the clean girl makeup is or like the clean girl aesthetic is but the clean girls they have their gold jewelry i got my gold earrings my gold necklace and then their hair is like slicked back into a bun i have braids in right now so i'm gonna just i just put my braids in a bun and yeah so we're gonna get right into this video i'm so excited um thank you guys so much for clicking on this video make sure you like comment and subscribe Go watch my other videos if you haven't already and let's get right into it. I don't think I'm going to be talking too much in this video because I just wanted to keep it really short. And I don't want it to be, you know, one of them videos that drag on for long. So I'm going to just introduce what I'm using and then keep it pushing. I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Don't want my pores to be large. Take some... now i think i'm gonna do my eyebrows so with the clean girl eyebrows it's like a laminated feathered look and i want to try that because you know usually i just shape my eyebrows the regular way and not do nothing else or whatever so i'm gonna use this nyx brow glue and we're gonna just brush up our eyebrows No, <laughs> no. So we're just gonna do like that and just shape them back. Cause that's not the look I wanna go for. I'm gonna go in with the NYX um, Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. That look okay? Woo! I don't even need no makeup, y'all. So don't even play. Don't even play. So um, now I guess we're gonna conceal underneath our eyebrows. I'm gonna use this um pro concealer in the color light tan. I low key want to color correct because I do have dark areas. I don't know. I'm gonna just do a little bit of color correcting. So I'm gonna use this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange. I'm gonna have this Ulta setting spray. Spray my brush with it. Make sure it's soaked and then dab that in. I feel like that didn't really do nothing. I feel like it just took mad product away. Okay, now we're gonna go in with um some concealer, but the clean girl look you don't really use um foundation. We're gonna go in with this fawn color and hope that it is my color. And now I'm going with a brush. I think I'm going to stop talking because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to stop talking and let editing Joelle do all the talking, okay? Okay, so after I put all the concealer on my face, I spray my face with some setting spray to like make it a little bit more wet. And then I start patting 
the concealer into my skin with a Real Techniques brush. Then I go in with a lighter concealer for under my eyes. And then I blend that with my Beauty Blender. But then I also go in with the Real Techniques brush so it can be more, you know, blended out and like seamless. Then I actually go in again and put more concealer under my eye because I felt like it wasn't like light enough or whatever. So I went in and put more concealer under my eye. And I blended that out with my fingers, a beauty blender, and I think I went in with the brush as well. Then I tried to contour my face, but it didn't really work out because the contour was like low-key close to my skin color. So it wasn't as dark as I thought it was going to be, but... I don't really like contouring, so I didn't do too much of it. Then I went in with um, Milani in their cream blush. And I was low-key feeling this blush. I was liking the way it was making me look and all that stuff. So yeah, I loved it. Then I went in with the CoverGirl Translucent Loose Powder in the color Medium. And I didn't really bake that long. I just put it on my face, waited like two seconds and then wiped it off but I made sure to press it into my skin then I went in with my wet and wild highlighter in the color precious petals and i just put that on my cheekbones under my eyebrows and on my nose anywhere that's supposed to be you know highlighted then i just sprayed my face with the ulta setting spray now i'm using my elf lash out loud mascara in the color black just to make my lashes pop and I put the mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Then I'm going in with the e.l.f. lip balm in the shade Tough Cookie. And I'm putting that all over my lip. Then I'm putting on the NYX Hydrate and Lip Gloss. And then I'm going in with my AOA Studio Baked Highlighter in the color Bubbly and I'm putting that right in the corner of my eyes. Okay guys, so I guess that's the end product of this video. I feel like I look put together and like more older. But I don't know. I low-key feel like I look a little ashy too, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna figure it out. So this is the end result of the clean girl look. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, look at me. But yes, that's the end of this clean girl makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it helped you guys out because I'm also like a beginner makeup person or whatever. All these products that I used was under $10. And I got them from Ulta. So if you guys want to know an in-depth in video on what things I got from Ulta for under ten dollars make sure you comment down below and let's go so that's the end of this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe go watch my other videos if you haven't already and thank you guys so much for tuning into this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope for all the black girls that's out there i hope this video helped you to step into achieving that clean girl look and yeah thank you guys so much for watching Go watch my other videos if you, if you haven't already. And bye. I don't know, I look ashy. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just an ashy person.